Eco Training presents Birds of the Bush for twitchers and amateur birders. Each episode will teach you about a different bird found in the African bush. Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Birds in the Bush. Today we're going to be looking at the African Spoonbill. And behind me here, this huge body of water we have here, this is in Dlovu Dam on Pridelands. And this is exactly the sort of habitat we would expect to find our African spoonbills. You know, often we see them in, in small little flocks or sometimes just pairs. It all depends on the, on the season and things like that. But their favorite method of uh, finding food and moving around is sort of to follow the shoreline, walking through the shallows and taking that long, oddly shaped bill. You know, it's got that sort of rounded spoon shape, hence the name on the end there, and sort of probing through the water in a sweeping motion, going back and forth, back and forth. And the, the moment a small uh, invertebrate or, or some sort of fish touches that, they sort of snap it up and they swallow it like that. Uh, also, what I think is lovely about your African spoonbills, the pairs do a lot of allo grooming of each other and also themselves. They have to get rid of, you know, all the little parasites and lice and things like that in their feathers, as well as keeping their feathers in good condition. You know, these guys are, are a type of bird that spends a lot of time around the water's edge, so they need to keep their feathers well oiled. They've got a, a preen gland on the back of their sort of mid back, if you will, which they dip their beak into and rub those, that oil through their feathers, uh, trying to keep it in as a good a condition as they possibly can. And this is what they do when we see them preening themselves, they're just sort of repairing their feathers because yes, they do molt their feathers, but they can't molt a new feather every time one gets damaged. Uh, that is way too expensive in terms of using up energy. So this forces them to look after their feathers until the next molt comes along and they can regrow some new feathers. So folks, if you've enjoyed this little uh, segment of Birds in the Bush looking at the African Spoonbill, please subscribe below and uh, keep checking out our channel for great content.